Hello everyone and welcome to the Orchid Saga. So today it's uh, time to do another update on one of my whiteboard suggestions. I have this uh, whiteboard as you can see hanging in my Orchid room. It's basically uh, a little bit for myself, I do some notes here. Uh, but also I have a section for you guys. If you have any uh, suggestions, I write them down here on the whiteboard. And that means that I'm going to film them. Uh, sometimes it's pretty soon, sometimes it takes a while, as in this case. So yeah, we're going to discuss the nobly types and I grow them in self-watering as uh, almost uh, all my orchids. This suggestion was uh, coming from Markets, from Market uh, East, ME Orchids. So uh, thank you uh, very much for this suggestion, it's uh, the number four. We're going to talk about the uh, light levels for dendrobium uh, and slash winter resters and how I... Uh, yeah, take care of them. Uh, so let's uh, let's visit my greenhouse because they are living in my greenhouse, and we will uh, take a look and discuss a little bit how uh, about how I give them uh, my care. It happened before. Um, I have four nobly typed dendrobiums here, and a white one. The smallest one is my oldest one. So yeah, it should be at least around this size. But I uh, didn't do so well with Nobilis. Actually, I had two of them in one pot. The other one died. This one, I just barely saved it. But as you can see, it still has some markings on the leaves, I think, for my uh, poor care. Uh, I have this, I think, around four years. But these two canes are the last two canes uh, that it grew from last season. So, there is some imp improvement again. And... Um, as you see, of course, I have it in bloom again. So that's beautiful. It's starting to look like something again. <laughs> and once I saw the difference here that uh, this one uh, started to grow, I bought some more. I have this beautiful purple one that made quite a few canes and it's uh, already in bloom. And also has some buds there in the back. It's a bit dark, but there are some more buds. Uh, and I see so even some nubbins on an older cane. Next to it is this very huge one is this cane that grew in this uh, this of a last season. And uh, the oldest cane is around this height. You see that one in the back. So that's the one that start off uh, quite well. It also has its first nubbins. I hope you can see them. Let's zoom in a little bit. There they are. And also it started uh, this new growth. Uh, it's this light green portion there that's a new growth already so that one is doing wonderfully well as well so I thought well that we would be nice to film them and then this morning I saw that this one is also having nubbins so we have quite a few of them there so that's beautiful and a few starting here just barely starting but still we uh, we will have some blooms on this one, we all, even on the oldest ones, we have some buds, uh, not in, but forming. So yeah, I'm happy. I only have four of them because I, uh, like I said, I had to practice quite a lot. And this one uh, suffered from it, but like I said, it's doing uh, better now. And um, I now can keep them with roots through the winter. So let me show you. This one has uh, also some roots, but also this one. I think I I need to check if I don't touch any nubbins here. No, I don't. So I slowly will pull it out. No, it will not will not work. Let me uh, grab it out of this pot so I can show you the root system. I will. So I'm sorry for that, you guys. But it's a little bit too heavy for me to lift it out with one hand. On, uh, on that high shelf, which as you can see, this is fantastic, beautiful. I do own this one not even that long, probably a w about one year now, so you can uh, can imagine. But what a root system! Completely the opposite of uh, of how I did first with the, with this one, that white one. But yeah, I really had to uh, learn uh, things. And you may wonder, well, yeah, you talk about that uh, quite often now that you had to learn. But what did you learn? Well, I will grab the wet, uh, white one, the wet one, <laughs> and uh, I will uh, discuss what I have learned about the nobilis. 
beautiful and it has such a lovely sweet fragrance to it so let me uh, slowly pull it out of the out of pot you see some roots here quite a few of them there some roots here even more there oh yeah quite a lot actually yeah so this one is uh, recovered as far as the roots go uh, I'm not happy with the leaves. I'm not completely sure what the problem is, uh, but let's hope that the the new growths will uh, will be uh, looking better. So uh, I will uh, pull it uh, put it back. I can do that with one hand with this one because it's not as heavy. Um, so what I did learn about the doublies. Well, first of all, what is something? Um, obviously, I grow them in self watering. If you didn't already notice. Are new but um so what I uh, noticed with all my orchids and you hear me did quite often uh, talk about this is the pH the pH in the water so because I I don't flush uh, uh, um, when I water I barely flush these days it's only when it really is necessary so I leave them in the pots and I water them uh, as soon as I see that they need water so if this red thing is completely going down I know the water is uh, gone and they need to be uh, refilled the reservoir but if you don't flush over um, a period of four to six months sometimes a bit shorter sometimes a bit longer your pH will uh, start to drop at least in my case and that was what was happening with my orchids and also with this one I only had one nobly at the time but it happened with this one as well so I lost constantly new roots and I was constantly losing those roots and that's why it's not bigger than it is and that's the only reason because you saw the root system on this one this one has the same sort of root system I assume this one has uh, uh, about the same roots as the others as well we can check that in a minute but I know that the yellow one is also completely packed with roots and that shows in this cane while it was working on those roots it was also working on this cane and it didn't cost them cost it a little bit of extra energy as it seems because this cane is even bigger than the previous one that, that not always happens most of the cases the new cane stay a little bit smaller because you also had to, to build up a co com uh, completely uh, new root system but uh, you can see that uh, at this one this has beautiful canes but in the back that laying one of uh, hanging one I should say is a bigger than the rest and that is the cane it came with and also the one next to it but those canes are a little bit bigger but this one grew four canes so far and is still working on this one this number five plus it's blooming now uh, plus it's making buds nubbins buds a little bit further uh, almost opening and completely open so this one is really working hard and uh, but it can but because uh, we, sh we saw the roots it can really handle that uh, amount of energy which is needed for all of that growth so yeah definitely approved uh, approved improve uh, my system by uh, by the calcium powder so I keep the pH around 7 up to se uh, up to up to 8 uh, a little bit higher uh, that's the same pH you might might expect when you start growing orchids in inorganic media with LECA and uh, or pumice they always rise the pH a little bit they seem to don't mind but they seem to do mind a, a very drop and I uh, had my orchids below uh, 5 and even somewhere below 4 so so very very low pH and that causes roots and will uh, your orchids really really have to struggle to survive but this one is a very strong one because it did survive and now we are uh, on the right track so that's uh, what I basically learned the other care is basically generally care of nobilis let me grab this one with one and by that is it uh, yes they need a winter rest but I don't let them dry out anymore I just give them uh, only RO water so nothing in there just a little teeny tiny bit on the bottom and that is for in winter but as soon as I see new growth, nubbins, I start up fertilizing them again. And most of the time it's, it's uh, yeah, in winter still 50 parts per million. And in summer when they really start to make new canes it will go up to 150 uh, maximum. Most of the time it's, I stick around 100. That's something that I feel... Uh, 
Yeah, I'm confident uh, with because I know that they can take it, that amount, and I try to get it out of this pot. <laughs> and um, so that's, that's why I don't feed any more. And they do so well, so I don't see the point in giving them more when something is doing so well. And I hope you can see this, but I think you can. As exp yeah, a lot of roots here. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nothing wrong. This, this, these guys are doing very, very well. Better than I uh, expected, to be honest. Some dead leaves. Even the good orchids lose some leaves. <laughs> and that's not a problem, of course. Let me put it back. I hope I don't make you dizzy. Um, let's focus on the orchids. <laughs> Here we are. So yeah, that's basically what I do. And you can see they are on the top shelf, close to the roof, especially in winter. I have even my growing lamps on now because it's, I'm filming in the evening. But during the day they get uh, quite some uh, bright light, filtered bright light. And they do very well, as you can see. I never ever had them so, so good, so, so beautiful, so many roots. This is the first year, and especially the first winter, I should say, that I, uh, we, we are now heading towards um, spring. I never had them so ready for spring, <laughs> ready for summer, to grow new canes and to hopefully getting even stronger than they already are. So, uh, especially this one. This one is very special. This. Uh, was sort of my guinea pig, nobly wise. <laughs> I had a lot of orchids to practice with, but no uh, one of this, yeah, like I said, my first nobly. So my uh, guinea pig nobly, and she's doing well, luckily. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm so, so happy. I really try my best to uh, get this one uh, growing big canes uh, as, as um, well. I think it will not give as big canes as the yellow one, but uh, at least as this purple one here. So, and of course, if this one blooms, if that one blooms, I will have uh, an update on those as well. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit on this purple one. I have uh, no names for them, so they are a no idea. But if you recognize it, uh, as usual, please let me know. This is the purple one with a bit of yellow-green inside. And let's go down one more look at this white one. Well, this is the Ap Apollo, I believe. Let me check. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't have it on a tag. But maybe this is the Apollo. And it has a hint of purple, pink-purple on the edge of the sepals. As you can see, hopefully, here in this frame. It's a little bit uh, darker here. I'm sorry for that. But, well, who knows? Maybe you reckon these guys. So that's uh, about my noblies and um, yeah I think that's beautiful. It was a really uh, really nice suggestion from uh, Margaret East Arkett. So thank you Margaret, M.E. Arkett, to be uh, correct. So uh, yeah I think uh, I hope I covered everything. If you still have questions or other questions please let me know. And for everybody else uh, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, and of course, uh, for you guys as well. If you have any questions, please let me know. For now, I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.